Well, welcome back, folks, for our fourth instalment of Mo Star Mine, run in conjunction with the Con uh, Montrose Community Trust, and our fourth, will we say, competitor for uh, for this one is the one, the only, Mr. Graham Webby Webster. Yes, Ross. Good to see you. Lovely to see you too, pal. I've got to be honest. You're looking resplendent, mate. Your hair looks fantastic. What's the story here? Well, obviously because we've been in isolation, um, the hair's been getting a wee bit longer. Um, so I decided to let the missus loose on it with a pair of clippers and a razor yesterday. And I'll be honest, she's, she's done that bad. I've, I've definitely had worse haircuts anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, it's looking all right. Like, it could look uh, I've got to be honest, I think she's done a fantastic job. This could be saving you a fortune in the future, mate. You might never have to go and get your hair done again. I'm not sure about that. Um, the, good thing, <laughs> the good thing is you can't see the back. There you go. That's, that's maybe the saving <laughs> thing. <laughs> the front's not too bad, but the back, yeah, not good. <laughs> it needs working. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, how, how are you getting on anyway yourself? How's things? Yeah, good, mate. Um, obviously, just... Just surviving, really. Um, I've been lucky enough to be able to work from home. So I've been, ever since we've been in lockdown, I've been working from home um, and basically just keeping myself in a routine. Um, <clears throat> still working nine till five, then still managing to go out for a run here or there, keep myself fit, ticking over. Um, but yeah, other than that, really, just try to get through it. Um, it's a difficult time for everyone, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're not in it for too much longer. No, fingers crossed. I think, you know, having that routine that you've obviously got every day is, is definitely going to help, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely. It's, you know what, it's, it's one of these things, like, I'm hearing obviously people that aren't working and it's hard when you get out of that routine because what do you realistically do when you're, you're stuck in the house, really? Um, I'm actually happy that I'm getting up every day, same time, still going to my work, even though it's, it's working from home. Um, it's still keeping me in that routine. Um, so when we do eventually go back, um, it's not going to hit me as hard, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, actually, do you, th do you think that with this break uh, in your career, are you going to go back with a different view of football in terms of you're going to maybe appreciate a lot more than you did before? Yeah, I would say so. Um, I think we're going to go back and think football's not everything. Um, there's certainly more to life than, than obviously what we do on a, on a Saturday. Um, obviously, we'll, we'll go back and, and hopefully things will be different in, in a better way as well. Um, but yeah, you certainly have a different outlook to it because, like I say, it's, it's, we do it on a Saturday. It's not it's not life or death on a Saturday for us. It's it's different times around just now, but yeah. Hopefully, um, hopefully we'll get back to kicking the ball soon because yeah, I'm losing the plot a wee bit without it. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is amazing just how how important the game is to to so many people, and you know it's not until until it's not there you you start to realise that. Yeah, definitely. You, you, when you're out without, obviously, the lads and training, um, and obviously you miss that match day on a Saturday, um, obviously that's what you're building up towards throughout the week. So, yeah, without that, it's been, it's been tough. Um, I won't lie, but, yeah, fingers crossed we'll, we'll get back to it soon enough. Great stuff. Um, well, obviously, uh, thanks for volunteering to, to do this uh, today. Um, and we're doing this in conjunction with the Community Trust. And so I'm just going to uh, take a moment to promote uh, one of the, the things that they are doing at the, at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing I'm going to talk about tonight is uh, a new initiative called Team Talk. And uh, obviously, before we even you know, came, got into self-isolating, uh, etc., and social distancing, um, suicide was, was um, one of the major uh, sort of reasons for, for middle-aged men die and unfortunately taking their own lives and um, men finding it particularly difficult to to talk to one another um, about how they're feeling and so um, what the, the club are doing is obviously in this current climate it's maybe even more difficult for for males out there to, to share their thoughts and feelings and and being stuck indoors as you you said you know um, it's very very difficult mm -hmm. so um, the guys have received training um, and uh, they're going to be uh, opening this up to to 
all males that are out there and also females as well. I mean, although it's, it's sort of aimed at, at men, it's, it's not just going to be for men at the moment. It can be anybody who feels a little bit low at the moment and, and wants to just uh, have a, a chat with somebody at the club and it can be football related. It can, it can be about anything. So, um, yeah, team talk is the, the thing that I want to talk about tonight and that should be rolling out. Uh, very very soon so I mean you you know the guys at the trust I mean it's fantastic work they're doing it yeah that's a great initiative definitely um, like I say it's, it's definitely tough times that we're living in just now so it makes it even more important that people are doing these sort of things um, and to see obviously the, the trust doing this is obviously great for the club um, and hopefully yeah it does help people um, obviously there's there's always someone to talk to there's always, always someone there for you um, so yeah, like I say, with with the trust in that, it's, it's definitely great great exposure for the club as well. So yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I say, they're they're doing invaluable work. These guys, yeah. they, they always do. But in our, our current situation, the, the work they're doing is is fantastic. Yeah, I, with, with what we're in just now, it's, it's definitely um, it's definitely something that's needed as well. So yeah, brilliant. Good to see that they're doing that. Okay, right. Well, we're going to get on to most of our mind. Now, I've got to be honest, right? CJ and Liam have been taking pelters. The, the, pretty much the consensus is that they are going to be bottom of the pile. Uh, if they're not, I'll be surprised. Um, like, generally. But I'm not sure. Like, I'm a wee bit nervous for this. I'm, I'm not the best at quizzes, like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you know that currently it's, uh, it's Andy Steves who's in the lead with five points. That doesn't surprise Go me. Five. Yeah, yeah, he did, and uh, he lives for the yeah, sort of dog running about and everything, and he still managed to produce the goods. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you a quick uh, lowdown on the rules. Pretty straightforward. You've got ninety seconds to try and answer as many sports-related questions as you possibly can. Um, if you get a question wrong, then I'll give you the correct answer before I move on to the next question. Um, if you want to pass, that's fine. I'll go over what the answers are at the, the end of your 90 seconds. And when the bell rings, if I've already started the question, then I will finish the question. You'll get a chance at it. So are you quite happy with all that? Yeah, sounds good. Let's go for that. Okay. So, Graham Webster, your 90 seconds start now. Which? Oh, I'm on the wrong questions. Wait a minute. There you go. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> What's going on here? Restart here we go. <laughs> Reload. So, Graham Webster, your 90 seconds start now. Which country hosted the 2019 Rugby Union World Cup? Uh, New Zealand. No, I'm afraid it was Japan. Uh, which African team became the first to win Olympic gold at the 1996 football tournament? African team. South Africa. It was Nigeria. Which chef was signed by Rangers at 15 before being dropped due to injury? Chef de Cucci. It was Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> Premier League football match. What is the maximum number of players allowed on the substitutes bench? Seven. Is correct. With which sport would you associate the British Paralympic gold medalist, Ellie Simmons? Swimming. That's correct. Match shuttlecocks for badminton are made using feathers from which bird? Swan. It's a goose. <laughs> and which sport is the pitch called a gridiron? American football. That's correct. Bang. Which Scored the most World Cup goals. What? Sorry, can you repeat that? He has scored the most World Cup goals. Germany. It's correct. How many fences have jumped in total during the Grand National? 42. It was 30, I'm afraid. Oh, oh Webby, right. Okay, so what have we got here? We have got... Uh, you didn't get Nigeria. You didn't get Japan. <laughs> you didn't get Gordon Ramsay. I thought it was a trick question. <laughs> I know, it's big Gordon, big Gordon. <laughs> you got the substitutes, so you got seven on the bench. 
you got uh, swimming, Riley oh. Simmons. Uh, you didn't get the goose feathers. Um, you got American football, I think. Yeah. You got Germany for the most goals, which is four. So that's you know, okay. It's average. It's respectable. Yeah, it's average. I think I could do better. There was a couple there that I should have known. That's like me. Exactly. Uh, we'll move on. Seen that. There's always the consolation of beating Paul. Oh, the, oh, he got three. three. No, He's on three. So, you that's know, you're not, you're not bottom. If he comes bottom, then that's a bit of a shambles because he's got a few years on us. That's, that's a bit of a shambles if he becomes bottom. <laughs> to be fair, when you're looking at somebody's question, he should definitely have got more than he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, well, happy with that. What was that, the same as Cami? That's the same as Cami. He had four as well, so yeah. Um, and, of course, he had more passes. So, in theory, you're actually ahead of him as well. You're in yeah. second place at the moment. That's, that's what we can say. I'll take that. Silver medal. I, if steve has got a good chance of winning this, to be honest with you. Well, uh, and say not, you were only one off, mate. No. No, no. no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, take care of yourself, Webby. Um, and uh, hopefully, as we've said earlier, we'll get back to, to yeah. being at uh, Links Park and playing football sooner rather than later. Yeah, top man, Ross. No problem. Till later, buddy. Take care. Yeah.